Hello, this is Billy Kaur from the Nostalgia Mall, and we've got another donation to unbox, and it's uh, once again from Dan Carter, um, who sent us our last donation, actually. Um, boy, he's spoiling us, isn't he? Uh, as you recall, a couple of weeks ago, he sent me a uh, Toshiba Satellite 2500 CDS, which I still didn't make a proper video about, but today we're going to see what he sent us this time. Uh, it's got a little bit of weight to it. It's in a standard priority mail package. Well, I'm trying to do this without showing anyone's address. <laughs> uh, that might be not possible. We'll see. I think it's opening there. Alrighty. Got some uh, some just good old brown paper, and it's a laptop, another laptop with a uh, it's like a serial mouse here. It's like it's in the sh you have it say. Uh, Microsoft uh, P Serial PS2 compatible mouse. I think it's a Microsoft mouse. Oh, yeah, duh, right there. There it is. <laughs> we'll look at that in a little bit. And he does have a note with it. Looks like it's, uh, I can tell from here, looks like it's similar to the 2500 he sent us earlier. Okay. Ah. No cord, but presumably this will uh, work as well. All right, what have we got here? Oh my word, it's a 2505 CDS. That's right, folks. This is, this is the exact same model of my very first laptop, <laughs> which I, I still have it. But it's not in the best of shape. So, boy, I am just <laughs> tickled to death about that. So let's uh, see the note he has. Greetings, Billy. Since your Toshiba Satellite 2505 CDS is in need of repairs to the USB slot and power connector, I am donating this 2505 CDS to you as a parts machine. Everything works except the screen, which is white. The hard disk drive is dead, but everything else is in great shape. Rather than having your 2505 repaired, you could do a, a body swap with the top part of the computer screen and palm rest. The donor piece has the PCMCIA door intact, as well as the USB port and power port. This would, have your, this would save you time and money. Yes, it would. Finding someone who's willing to fix your 250 CDS will be difficult as no one wants to take the time to fix a vintage computer that is almost 23 years old. True. The donation I provided will help you to make your 2505 like new again. Oh, that would be so nice. Hope you get the chance to do a video where you do a top part computer swap. I forgot to mention that I placed a newspaper ad cut out and the 2505, the 2500 CDS in between the pages of the 2500 manual. It provides the full specs on what the computer had when new. If it's not in the owner's manual, it must be in the Windows 98 booklet. There is also a hard disk drive instruction slip on the Hitachi hard drive in between the pages as well. Look over both books to find them. I hope that this donation will allow you to get your 2505 CDS like new once more. I look forward on your decision whether or not you want to do a body swap on the machine. If you decided to go with the transfer, you could also remove the rubber feet from your 2505 CDS to the new base as its feet are, feet are removed. Regards, Dan Carter. Dan, I tell you, this means a lot to me. I 
I've got my uh, OG 2505 right here. And as you can see, they're identical. Mine, the uh, spec stickers have been uh, missing for years on mine, which is a shame. Uh, let's see, keyboard I think is in better shape on mine compared to this one, but obviously the motherboard on the one you sent me is going to be in better shape than uh, what's on mine from my childhood. There's my uh, broken USB port. You can see as a joke I put a bandage on it. And um, one thing I ha I've not mentioned a whole lot of bef before is um, the uh, power jack on my 2505 is uh, faulty. It's uh, You have to have it in just the right position for it to work. And, yep, there's a uh, intact USB port. So, yeah, um... I think what I might do, just be, just for uh, pr uh, childhood preservation's sake, is I'm probably going to harvest the motherboard out of this uh, 2505, the one that you sent me, and put it in my uh, childhood one. That way I can just keep the original shell, and maybe I can figure out a way to transfer the spec stickers from yours to mine which I think would be uh, my preferred method. And let's just take a tour of this. Um, yeah, it's got a lot more weight to it because mine's missing some parts. Yep, even got the uh, expansion so uh, door intact. And we have a uh, Zircom uh, credit card modem. Which, we had something similar in ours, actually. And there's the back, as you saw earlier, with USB port. <laughs> and here's the other side. Now, he said that the screen doesn't work anymore. Neither does the battery. And... Because, yeah, I don't think I've ever been able to show it on... Uh, video before, but this is what the spec stickers look like on the 2505 CDS. Um, it came uh, with this, it says, Go Faster, Intel 233 MHz Pentium Processor of MMX Technology, 32 megs of EDO DRAM, expandable to 160 megs, enormous 2.1 billion byte hard disk drive. Boy, they make that sound huge when it really isn't. <laughs> Lightning fast, 20 speed CD ROM, lightweight, long lasting lithium ion battery. Yeah, not anymore, probably. All in one CD ROM, diskette, and hard drive. 12 inch uh, dual scan display, aka passive matrix, of course, and the Zircom modem. And as you can see, they were really promoting the fact that this uh, came pre installed with Windows 98. And, uh, by the way, that was 98 First Edition, for those wondering. I used to always upgrade to either Second Edition or Millennium Edition, sometimes even, to just for better uh, software and hardware compatibility. But, yeah, we'll see if we can do a video where we try to harvest this out and... Uh, make a fully functional 2505 CDS uh, for uh, with the one I've gotten that I've had since 1999 so Dan again I thank you um, I thank you for the very very generous donation thank you so so very much and uh, while we're at it let's uh, check out this uh, mouse that he sent along with it Uh, just kidding. 
<laughs> oh yeah, I think I have one like this, but I've never used it. It's good to have a a cereal mouse because you know you never know. I might one day wind up with a uh, AT based machine with no PS2 port. So. Yeah, this will come in handy if that day ever comes, which it might. So, Dan, thank you once again um, for the very generous donation. Again, we'll see if we can do a repair video at some point. Until next time, this is Billy Core signing off. Thank you for visiting the Nostalgia Mall. If you liked what you saw, please like, subscribe, and follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You may also support me on Patreon if you would like. Until next time, this is Billy Core signing off.